getting loaded up. We're loading up here. We're actually loading up two two trailers and we are heading down. We're going to be heading down to the prison. So we've been getting everything dialed in. We've been rigging up everything and we are going down to the prison. I am sick and tired of people being tortured in prisons. I'm sick and tired of, of pretending that solitary confinement has anything to do with, with keeping people safe or that our justice system has anything to do with justice or with reform. I am against locking people in cages and torturing them and solitary confinement and three by three cells. So we're loading up and we're heading out and I hope you guys will join me down there in Nevada. So listen, just a quick recap of what's happened in the past week and what's happening with the march at Nevada Southern. Ammon called from the prison and notified us that, that they had tortured him for 13 hours and then thrown him naked into solitary confinement, okay? They had him in a three by three cell for like 13 hours. They beat him. They, I'm not even, you can watch the video on that, man, if you want to go into it. It's, it's crazy. It's absolutely insane, okay? And I appreciate that, guys. I see your comments in there. If I get arrested, I hope you do come bail me out. But here's the thing. Bail's not even a given. Even though constitutionally we have a right to bail, we have a right to due process. Guys, these guys have been sitting in jail for a year and a half. Denied bail. Not given a trial. Tortured. And so people say, I hear this from all factions, if it's not their people, right? They're like, well, if you don't want to be in jail, you shouldn't have done the crime. What happened to being assumed innocent? The fact is, guys, most of the people in jail in America, they're in jail for fake crimes like possession charges where no victim exists and as such, the crime is a fraud. But even more than that, they were never given due process. Hey, Donald, Joseph, Bearcat, I see you guys. So most of the people in these jails, guys, they never had due process. Even the ones that have, quote, been convicted, their due process rights were completely violated in the trial, like Jeff Winehouse, like Schaefer Cox, like the guys, like the guys in, in Oregon right now that just got railroaded, like the fake trial that just went on under Judge Navarro in, in, in Nevada, like Jason Patrick down there, right? It's constant. And then we have these private for-profit prisons like CCA who torture and abuse. Look, these guys, they're selling their souls in there for $9 an hour. And you know how they're getting some extra off the top? By the, with the drugs. You know how they're getting their, getting their jollies off by abusing and hurting people? And so they say, oh, we gotta, we gotta strip search you, right? We gotta cavity search you to make sure you're not dealing drugs. Guys, I talked to Ammon. There's drugs all over that prison. But it's not the prisoners bringing them in. Get serious. Where do you think these drugs are coming from? And all these strip searches, all this solitary confinement, all the stuff they do in our in our justice system, in our courts, in these fake trials, in these fake prisons that aren't prisons at all. They're concentration camps for torture and abuse. It's theater. It's a fraud. Okay? So, here's the recap, right? Kelly went live with Ammon. He told of this torture, and people were outraged, and she said, I'm heading down there. And other people started saying, I'm heading down there, okay? And so I went out, and we started putting this event together. And I, I didn't head down immediately because I'm like, okay, let's get organized. Let's make this big. And so the first thing I did is started planning. I started getting the, the event made for the March on Nevada Southern. And you can go to my Facebook page, facebook.com slash callmegav, and join that event and share that event. And, of course, because I'm Gavin and because people, you know, people – People hate Gavin, right? They want to try and avoid sharing a lot of them. Even people that, that support Ammon or Ryan or the, the, the prisoners. Thanks, Sovereign Humanoid, for the, for the super chat. They, they don't like me because I'm, I'm candid and I speak it out and, I, and I, don't, I don't play parlor games with the truth. And so they want to say, oh, we don't want any part with Gavin. You know what? It's time to get together. It's time to unite. You're either a loyalist or you love freedom and you love liberty. Have you thought about this country lately, guys? Have you thought about this crazy country we live in? Okay. Let, let's, see if I can, let's see if I can adequately describe what happens when you try to do anything. Um... <laughs> do you have the do you have the correct permit for that? Oh, that's not authorized in that area, sir. Sir, I'm sorry, you can't move that way. You can't speak that way, sir. Sir, you cannot travel that way. Sir, you can't go there. Sir, you have to you have to pay this fee. Sir, you have to pay this fine. Sir, where's your ID? Sir, do you have a permit for those rights? Sir, you can't speak right now. Sir, it's for your safety. Sir, you're going to jail. 
Sir, we're going to shoot you. Sir, we're going to torture you. Get in the three by three cell. Guys, that's not freedom. And so I look around at my people. I'm, I'm appalled that, that my people, my neighbors can pretend that that's freedom, that we can wave our flags and our banners and be like, oh, freedom. That's nonsense. That's not freedom. That's fascism. In every city, county, and state in this nation, we're surrounded by fascism. Constantly. Our police perpetrate that fascism. The blue line of treason, the blue line syndicate perpetrates that fascism. And then as people complain about that fascism, they complain at me and say, Gavin, you should, you should stop calling out the fascists. You should stop calling out the police. Gavin, you're too aggressive. Gavin, you're too rude. No, when we speak, our voice is a sword and we're seeing this. Guys, 18 months or so ago when all these guys were arrested, hardly anybody was speaking out out here on this stuff. And I said, Guys, pick up your cameras. I said, pick up your cameras and get out there and spread the message and be the media because the media is not showing up. The media doesn't care about our freedom. They've sold out, just like your politicians. And in that year, I've started seeing a lot of you pick up those cameras, right? And we all have a different sphere of influence. What is your sphere of influence? Your sphere of influence is the people that you affect right? Maybe, maybe for you right now, it's just your family or your friends or your kids or whatever, right? But the more you speak, your voice is a sword and your sphere of influence expands and we make the narrative of truth normal. See, truth is treason and an empire of lies. But when you speak that truth over and over and over again, that truth becomes normal and people see that it is okay to speak the truth and that it is being done by others. That's why we're not just talking. That's why I'm mounting up and we're heading down to the prison, okay? And so a couple of us are going down. We're loading up a couple of RVs. My brothers were there last week. I'm taking my whole family down there, guys. And we're going to stand outside that prison and we're going to speak. And we're going to call out that corruption. And we're going to name its name. And we're not going to live in fear. And we're not going to follow these fake narratives. Back to that recap, right? Kelly got to the ground down there. Kelly Stewart got down there. And there was already people trying to undermine it, right? There was already some loyalists down there trying to undermine that message. And there was people falling for the fear. And they were saying, oh, we need to leave. We shouldn't do this protest because it'll hurt the, the prisoners. Guys, the people in prison scoff at that narrative. The prisoners, do you know what's happening down there? The prisoners have been protesting. The prisoners, the prison went into lockdown. They said, oh, we're going to be in lockdown until these protesters leave. And the prisoners started protesting. They started refusing to eat. They started started standing up, not with violence, but with peace. They started calling them out. And so the guards would say, oh, this is Ammon Bundy's fault, or this is the protesters' fault. And the prisoners started calling them out, and they'd say, no, this is your fault. Hundreds of prisoners were standing up and protesting in that prison. And the next day, the lockdown went away. Then the prisoners were out in the yard, and when the people were marching around they were marching around the jail out there and they were, they were singing and they were shouting. The prisoners were in the yard and they were throwing their shirts up in the air and whooping and hollering, right? Because there was hope. See, these prisoners, they've been made slaves inside these cages, but their rights are still the same. Their fundamental rights, most of them, most of them aren't even there lawfully. So the next time you see a Blue Line syndicate member, Remind them that what they do for a living is not okay. Tell them to be actual heroes and come over here. Come over here. Stand with us. Stand with those who are loving their neighbor, be they cops or prisoners, and that are willing to say right is right and wrong is wrong and justice is justice, and that are willing to say the obvious, that torturing people in jails is not okay, that the excuse of if you don't want to be tortured, you shouldn't have committed the crime, if you don't want to do the time, don't do the crime, all these fake narratives and fake excuses are a fraud, that it's not okay, it's not okay to abuse anyone, it's not okay to violate anyone's due process, it's not okay what the blue line does, The extortion's not okay. The judges aren't okay. The guards aren't okay. The wardens aren't okay. The solitary confinement's not okay. And the prison's not okay. It's called humanity. It's called principle. It's called moral values. Now, for me personally, I'm going to go down there with Jesus at my side. I'm going to appeal to heaven. I'm going to get on my knees, and I'm going to stand boldly on my feet. You do it how you think you should do it. Only do it with principle. Don't violate the rights of another. Speak out and stand up. Can you feel the freedom 
when you speak? Can you feel the liberty when you stand defiant and disobey tyrants? If you can't, then you're not doing it enough. So join me down there in Nevada. Head down to the March on Nevada Southern Prison. The event is on Facebook. It's down in Pahrump, Nevada. We're camping out down there. Just bring your gear. We're going to fill that field with people. We're going to spread that message. And we don't want this to be about any one faction or any one person. We want this to be about stopping injustice. I want that prison shut down. I want everyone out of solitary confinement. I want the people that haven't been given due process released or released on bail until they get their due process. You don't have to be afraid. We don't have to be slaves. We can stand up with peace and principle and get something done. Let's get down to Pahrump. I'll see you guys there. We are loading up. We're loading up the camper here. It's right back there. We're actually loading up two of them. We're heading down with the resources and the logistics. If you guys want to help with expenses or something, you can throw a, throw a, a buck or two in the in the super chat or you can head to my website callmegav.com but most importantly spread the word share these videos share the event let people know prison torture isn't okay for anybody make our voices heard pick up your cameras speak out your voice is a sword you guys I'm gonna run got some organizing to do to get ready to go you're going to see me down there. I'll do some more live streams. We'll do some live streams from down there in the prison. I'm heading down to the prison. Are you? Let's stand up together.